Nigerians are in urgent need of the railways as an alternative means of transportation. And so, when the Abuja Kaduna Rail Service took off, they welcome it with joy. It excited the FCT administration and spurred it to complete its own light rail system. Target date, December 2017. However, there is a challenge. Cables are being vandalized. You will be surprised also to know that even the new Abuja light rail system under construction has been faced with vandalization. Two weeks ago, vandals dug out cables and cut them off. So this is, I mean, this is something that government alone cannot do because we have deployed members of the civil defense along the tracks. We deploy them in the city, but citizens also have to be conscious of that. The cables were to serve as tools for communication across the trains and various stations. But 15 meters of the fiber cable were removed by unknown persons. It has, however, been replaced. Valentine Obumea is the technical head of supervisory team. He declined to speak on camera, saying he does not have clearance to do so. The project is yet to be handed over to the client, the FCT administration, and December 2017 seems a long time from now. Residents of the capital territory are worried over the development. I'm just very surprised seeing a group of persons here, this same place that were being, uh, I think, walk black and white together, meaning they are getting to the next level. But me, I'm surprised to hear this same story that vandalization has been taking place. Rafael, like many citizens of Abuja, are looking forward to the completion of this over 35-kilometer stretch of rail line that would make the Abuja light rail system a reality. However, they are worried that damaged cables, like has been perpetrated here, could set the project back. The first phase of the project, which is said to be about 70% completed, will link the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport with Abuja city centre. To achieve this goal and on time, the project must be secured. Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.